Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys, never stop, woo, woo. Mr. Go. You ready, man? Good uh, down 21 to start the fourth after Plumlee hits that layup. LeBron had just to the, the threes and all of the different switches that you were calling out, getting the Clipper big up. What were you seeing? What were you trying to get out of that? And, and how were you able to execute? I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to recover right now. Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, just try to – obviously, we knew we was down a big deficit to start the fourth quarter. So, we had, to, um, we had to execute offensively. We had to get great shots. We had to make shots, and then we had to get stops. And um, we was able to do that. I thought the lineup that started the fourth quarter, I think it was me, D'Lo, Cam, Jax, and, and TP. Um, we did a great job of, uh, of getting stops, you know, and then uh, trying to go back on the other end of scoring. So worked out well for us to, to start that quarter, and we just tried to keep the momentum going. We made the subs. LeBron, uh, AD described when you get in that zone as sicko mode. Uh, I guess what, what's going through your head when, when you're making, I think you made five threes in the fourth, just kind of that, that sequence there of three after three after three. Um, just in a zone. I mean, <clears throat> um, I know we, we've kind of heard this, you know, what, what it feels like to be in a zone, you know, in our, in our sport, and um, that's just the feeling. Um, when you feel like everything that you put up is, is is going in, and you know, with the you know, for me, I just kept it, I kept it consistent. I wasn't taking illoi shots. Um, I stayed in the course of the offense. Um, when I was able to get the switches, I was able to give myself some space and get a couple more looks. You know, so my teammates did a great job of continuing to find me. You know, and then I just try to dictate the tempo, dictate the game. You know, as we started making a run for it and getting the game closer and closer and closer. Um, so. You know, it's just a zone that you can't really describe it. You, you wish you could stay in it forever, but obviously it checks out, you know, as the game ends. But, you know, during it, you don't, you don't feel anything. You just, just have a superpower, I feel. Okay. LeBron, it's your, I think it was 1,473rd regular season game of your career. And if we have the stat right, it was the first time one of your teams came back from 21 points in the fourth. What's your capacity? for carrying this team in whatever aspect that it needs to get be between today and the finish line and, and have a, a berth in the postseason? Um, <clears throat> I just got to do what I got to do. If I'm in a lineup, um, if I'm on the floor, I got to make plays. Um, you know, sometimes I got to make even more plays, and tonight was one of those moments where I had to make um, even more plays in order for us to even get back into the game and then ultimately winning the game. So. You know, we um, obviously we, you know, every game is important for us, especially, you know, at this moment, um, you know, and uh, we have to approach it that way. But uh, tonight was a, a really good test for us. It was a great test, uh, obviously, being down versus one of the best teams in the league and on their home floor and be able to keep our composure, um, you know, to weather the storm, um, you know, in that fourth quarter was, was very key for us. LeBron, kind of <clears throat> two along the, what, what Dave just asked, um, to still be having firsts. 21 years into this, um, how does that hit you? And then secondly, um, you know, you did that in the fourth quarter offensively, but just like you did in Phoenix in the second half, you took on a big defensive assignment. Um, how much of that do you think you can do? Um, how regularly can you take that on on the defensive side of the ball as well? Um, and, and until I can't do it anymore. Um, you know, so I've been – put in a, a position throughout my whole career where I've had to do a little bit of everything throughout the course of a game. And, um, and that's carried me to, you know, still continue to stay humble, you know, stay in the moment and uh, stay the course throughout my career, even 20, you know, 21 years in. So um, <clears throat> offensively, you know, our team needed me to step up and defensively they needed me to take the challenge uh, on, on Kawhi. And I, I mean, he's, I mean, back to back with Katie and Kawhi, that's a, it's a gauntlet for sure, you know, for any defender. So just try to just try to take the challenge and uh, and, and hope that they miss, and, and you know, and just try to make it tough on them. The Clippers start to send two guys to you when I mean, you had the ball, especially late in the fourth quarter. D'Lo and Rui made plays, made shots. Darvin said it was reminiscent of last year, last season's playoff run. Um, how helpful do you think this is for the group to see them close the game out the way that they did? 
Well, I think uh, my guys know I'm going to make the right play no matter what, you know. So, you know, if I get doubled, they know I'm going to find the right play or find the right player. Um, D'Lo started making himself available when I started getting a double. And, um, you know, he was able to find Rui. Rui hit a three. And then he found Rui again. He had a baseline reverse. Um, and then I got doubled again. I was able to find D'Lo over the top um, for um, catch high, stay high, uh, three ball, which was um, a big play for us. So, you know, it's great um, that we can, you know, lean on our, our, our guys and, um, and everybody feel like they're very comfortable in making a play uh, throughout the course of the game, no matter the time. Last two, Rachel. LeBron, as you pointed out, this is a great test, right, because of the quality of the team you're playing. Is this just a game where, as you said, you're in the zone and you get hot, or is it a game where you can learn something about this team down the stretch? And if so, what is it? I mean, it's a good test because, you know, um, you know, anytime you can do it versus a, a, a great ball club, um, you know, it's, it can work well for you. Um, and obviously, you know, tonight was a good test. If we ever put in that position again, we know uh, we know how to, to handle it or how to go forward. Obviously, you never want to be down 21 in the fourth or 19 to start the fourth. That's not ever the, 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 the cost of a game. But if it happens, you know, we know we can if we can buckle down and get stops and then and, and, and make shots if, if we just, you know, play the game the right way. So um, I think it was a good test for us. But another good test for us tomorrow. We got to see how we handle the success of tonight by coming in tomorrow and be uh, mentally prepared as well. Um, um, hey, hey, LeBron. I uh, just wanted to talk to you about, you know, since you've been here, you always have been the first person in the gym. You know, even with your greatness, I talked to Tyrese Maxey. He said uh, he went to the gym at 5.30 and you were already in a deep sweat at 5. He was like, he's the only person that's ever beat me. Talk about that, having that work ethic and that drive, even with the greatness and success you've had so far. Oh, I think you're only going to get out of the game as much as you put into it. You know, and uh, for me, I've always wanted to be, um, you know, one of the greatest to ever play this game. And, you know, I knew I was, I was born with some gifts and born with some athletic abilities um, that I seen it early on. A lot of people would tell me early on, but that only gets you so far. Um, it only gets you so far, especially in this league where everybody is born with an unbelievable gift. And that's why it's only a select few of us that make it to this league. Um, so um, I just had to put the work into it. Uh, I've always cared about trying to get better and having a growth mindset and getting better and better every single year um, and try to keep the defense so unbalanced that they don't know what to do, you know, because I, I've just expanded my game, um, <clears throat> you know, each and every each and every moment. So I think that's that's the most important thing I can give to like the younger generation is just like just put the work in, you know, put the work in and continue to work your habits and continue to put the work in. And no matter if you, you know, you know, you're not feeling great about it or whatever the case may be, I think it's always going to pay off because the work never ever, you know. It never shies away from it. I mean, you can never shy away from the work. The work is always going to pay off, you know, and uh, when you shortcut the process, it'll catch up to you. But if you put the work in, you know, day in and day out, uh, both physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever the case may be, I think it always pay off for you. Um, you know, so for me, um, I want it to be great. I want it to be great. And you can't be great if you don't if you don't punch your clock in. So I think that's what it all boils down to. Appreciate it. Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got it, Bobby. We on the top. Woo, woo. We on the top. Woo, woo. We on the top.